is putting known elements together. If you were raised in uh, some primitive culture, the headhunters of the Amazon, if you never saw anything else, never traveled, you'd be a headhunter. And if I says to you, doesn't it bother you to have ten shrunken heads? He might say, yes, my brother has twenty. Is he bad? No. He's normal to that culture. Interesting. There are no good or bad people. People are shaped by culture or subcultures that they're part of or their religion. And so every word you use, every facial expression, your mother said cup, bottle, light, over and over again, papa, mama, and that's where you got it from. And when you think, you think in terms of your culture. If you don't understand that, if you ask an Eskimo, or oh, tell him, you can have anything you want if he's never left that area, if he's lived in northern Alaska all his life. He'd never say, I want a Mercedes or a twin-engine Beechcraft. He can't say that. It's outside of his frame of reference. Am I making that point? Mm. So interesting to, to understand how so many of our desires and expectations are culturally conditioned. And we, we think they come from within, but they actually come from external sources. Man, whatever I say about man applies to me also. Man cannot think or reason. I'm going to back it up if you give me a chance to before you get mad.